Thank you so much for taking part in Rising for War Child. This video is going to show you how to set up a basic campaign on Tiltify. Tiltify is an amazing fundraising platform and this is where you will direct your fans to watch your live stream as they can watch, donate and communicate with you during the stream all on one page. This video shows you the very basic information you need to complete in order to run a successful live stream gig and collect donations using Tiltify as part of the Rising for War Child series. There's an additional video which will show you how to set up a more detailed campaign where you as an artist can create your own rewards, polls and targets. It's definitely worth watching the companion video as setting up these features is fairly straightforward and it's a great way to engage your audience and have some more fun with your stream. So first up, we're going to go to tiltify.com forward slash warchild UK. On this page, you can learn more about Warchild's fantastic work, but what we're looking for on this page is the current fundraising events. Here you will see the Rising for Warchild event so you're going to want to click on that bar there. Now that you're into the Rising for War Child event, you can see all the information about the series and you're going to want to hit the register button here. If you've already used Tiltify in the past, at this point you simply sign into your account. If you're new to Tiltify, you will need to sign up, inputting your email address, creating a password, and then verifying your account via a link in an email they will send you. You have the option to register using your credentials from various different streaming platforms such as Twitch and YouTube. However, if you're unsure which streaming platform you're going to be using just yet, you can use the simple email and password registration option. I'm just going to sign in here. On the next page, you're going to want to hit individual campaign and then choose your campaign name. Th this is essentially the title of your live stream video, so we suggest that you input rising, featuring, and then your artist name. Your campaign description can be as simple as you like, and this can be edited at a later date. So here I'm just going to put, let's raise some money for War Child. You do also have the option here to edit your own personal URL, so feel free to do that if you want to. The next page is asking when your campaign is going to take place. Now, as the Rising series is spanning all throughout May and June, you'll want to keep your Tiltify page active for the duration of the series so that you can collect donations for the maximum amount of time to increase your chances of winning some of the amazing prizes that we have on offer. We'd suggest that you put your start date as today's date and then the end date as the 30th of June. Next, Tiltify asks you to choose a goal for how much you aim to raise during your campaign. This is completely up to you how much you choose. You can change this goal after you've created your campaign, so you don't have to stress over this detail too much. I'm going to select £500 as my campaign goal. Next, Tiltify is going to ask for your address. This is simply so that if you do hit the certain fundraising goals and you win our exclusive merchandise, so that's the Rising for War Child t-shirt and hoodie, they can post you your prize. On the next page, you're also asked to choose the size of your t-shirt or hoodie in advance. Great, so now we can see a summary of all the information that we've inputted. If there's anything here you would like to edit, you absolutely can. I'd take a note of this, your individual campaign URL, that's something you're going to want to save. And if you're happy with all the information above, then simply click Create Campaign. The final thing you're going to want to do before you publish your campaign is to add your live stream. As you can see here, you have the option to embed your live stream directly onto your campaign page. And this is so that people can go to your page, watch your stream, donate and communicate with you all on one page. So you're going to want to click this button here. You're given the option of several different media types. If you've yet to set up your streaming channel, you can simply upload an image or a YouTube video or Facebook video so that your Tiltify page doesn't look too empty. And then you can always come back into your dashboard and add your streaming link at a later date. However, the live stream platforms that you can directly embed into your live stream are YouTube Live and Twitch. 
So choose the platform that you will be live streaming on and simply add your channel URL. In this example, I'm going to use the Warchild Gaming Twitch account just so I can show you exactly how that stream is going to display on your Tiltify page and how your fans are going to be able to communicate with you during your stream. So I'm just going to paste the Warchild Gaming username here. And that's it, you're all set up. Now you can copy your campaign URL, you can paste that link into your browser and review your Tiltify page. So this is the page that you're going to want to be promoting and pushing out to your fans and your audience. As you can see here, when you go live, they'll be able to watch the stream directly, they'll be able to donate here, and you'll also be able to view the chat room when you're live or comments, so that your fans can communicate with you whilst you're live streaming. You can also see people who are donating and the donation amounts and their well wishes at the bottom of the page here. I hope you found this video useful and that you're able to follow along and set up your own Tiltify page. If you are interested in exploring some more features that Tiltify offer in order to make your live stream that little bit more exciting, there is a companion video where I'll be showing you how to set up your own rewards, targets and polls. But once again, thank you so much for taking part in Rising for Warchild.